Tiffany, construction began about three years ago, and if you can see behind me, it truly is a work in progress. And let me tell you, you can just feel the history coming to life. The sound of construction soon no more. Temporary certificate of occupancy for the historic Sunset Lounge July of this year. And that will begin the step to a completion uh, that will then um, tee up the building to be finished out uh, with an operator. These streets in West Palm Beach will be filled with the beautiful sounds of jazz music. We, the agency, wanted to redesign it so that the full area would accommodate up to 150 seats for a full service type of a restaurant. History from the 1940s and 50s coming back. The city is getting ready to reopen the doors to Sunset Lounge, where notable musicians like Ella Fitzgerald, Count Basie, and Louis Armstrong once stepped foot inside. When I became a musician, I became very good friends with Dennis Starks, who was the original owner. We'd sit and listen to records, man. We went to the big band era, and he had he and my father rivaled each other with record collections. The Sunset Lounge was built in 1926, a place where members of the African-American community could find a safe space during a time when they were crucified for the color of their skin. In the years to come, Sunset Lounge did not have the same business anymore. In 2016, the city's Community Redevelopment Agency stepped in, closing the doors in 2018, before construction began the year after. Fast forward to today. Construction of a bar, restaurant, a mezzanine, and a roof garden underway. The crown jewel uh, for this neighborhood. It, it has got rich, rich history and as seen as uh, one of the central gathering points and sort of the center of culture uh, for the historic Northwest. And officials predict that they will have a soft opening by the end of this year and a grand opening early 2023. Reporting live in West Palm Beach, I'm Suji Nam for WPBF 25 News.